you deserve to feel safe. It's a basic human part of living that you should be experiencing each and every day. Hi, this is John Ruman, where my job in this lifetime is to help every person I come in contact with realize their unlimited potential and become the greatest version of themselves so they can have the impact that they need to provide this world. Many people I come in contact with, and I'm actually teaching a workshop on self-defense, which made me come to this topic, is many people in the country I live in, I live in the Southern Caribbean in an island called Trinidad, beautiful, beautiful place. And if anyone here is watching from Trinidad, please say hi, that you're in Trinidad. I'd love to hear that. It's an amazing island. People are wonderful. They're and like every place else on the planet, there are challenges. And now my phone's ringing. So this is all the important thing you need to have whenever you do a live. So the reason I bring up the important thing about safety and the importance of feeling safe is you make decisions. Hey, Janine, you will make decisions that are not what they could be if you and, and guys, let me know on Instagram if it's screwing up your audio. You will make poor decisions when you do not feel safe. So, again, every person on this planet should wake up every morning, feel confident, secure, and safe with where they are. If you do not, do what you can to make yourself move in that direction. Maybe if, uh, if your neighborhood's unsafe, make your house safer. Put locks up. Do... Um, security cameras, um, do what you can to make where you live safer. If the, if you cannot move from your neighborhood, if you live in an unsafe neighborhood, I would encourage obviously you to move and that may require an investment. It may be a smaller place than you have now, but at least it's safe. So it's always a good idea to continually upgrade your life. And I'm not telling you to do something that is outside of your current comfort zone or whatever. But another thing you can do is how you stand and present yourself. So you can actually develop habits that will make you feel naturally more confident in yourself. Have you ever walked down the street and there's certain people who you walk by that people kind of part the way for, uh, like, like, like Moses in the Red Sea, right? The sea literally parted. Imagine, if you will, if you see someone who walks towards other people and they kind of step off the sidewalk and in not all the, some of the cases, it's kind of a dangerous feeling person, but in other cases, just someone who owns where they're going and they just feel powerful. So people just naturally, they don't know what it is, but they're like, I'm going to step aside. And they literally will stop with the walking and step aside because this person has such authority over the space that they own. The great thing is you can get and practice and become a person who owns the space you walk in. Where you are not the victim, you are the victor. Where you walk down the road and people are like, well, who's that? Where you just feel so confidently and abundantly secure in yourself that people, they'll become drawn to you, by the way. They're going to ask you, what are you doing? What do you got going on that makes you feel this way? Why are you so steadfast? Why are you always uh, so calm? Or And long story short, I'd like you to develop habits of finding ways that you can feel safer in your environment and within yourself. And this is something I teach in the self-defense workshop, the confidence workshop. But if this is something that you would benefit from, I'd encourage you to come. Some of the ways you can do this are doing the little things I talked about earlier in the video, being in a safer neighborhood, um, doing the little stuff in your house to make your house safer, uh, I mean, just, just the little stuff, but it adds up. I mean, you'll never hit perfection, but you can always grow to a more positive direction. So find ways to grow in a positive direction and feel more confident and safer in yourself. 
and you will naturally walk safer. Even just walking a little more chest up, chin up, walking forward versus walking downward. A lot of people kind of walk downward, looking down at the at the cracks on the ground to avoid hitting a pothole or whatever. Walk forward. If you hit a stumbling thing, so be it. But walk with confidence. So something I'll tell you that will actually immediately help. So let me give you one little pointer. Walk slower than you normally do and take slightly longer strides. So slightly slower, slightly longer strides. Cause some and, and what that will do and, and slow down the pace overall. What that will do is give yourself the feel, I'm not in a rush. They'll wait for me, wh whoever's waiting. And by walking in a slow authoritative pattern, others around you will be like, what's up? What, what, what happened to, you know, what, what, where'd the old person go who was always in a rush, insecure? You'll notice that those who are abundantly confident and powerful themselves have a slow cadence. There's, um, if you're watching this in the U.S., you know John Wayne, or you may not know John Wayne, but he would walk in this slow manner, and he was incredibly confident, and it would make people and women swoon, and guys wanted to be like him. And that was why. He was simply owning the space. So, same thing with Clint Eastwood and a lot of them characters he did in the Westerns. Anyway. Find ways that you can do that, and that's an easy one. So help your environment. Take my course because I will help you feel powerful, and I'll actually show you some techniques to defend yourself. And last but not least, slow down your pace. That will help out a great deal. If you have any interest in my course, it's not this weekend. It's on the 25th, and I'm doing two classes. The first one in the afternoon sold out, so now I'm doing a 10 to noon class as well. So uh, check out my page on the events page. If you're watching this on Instagram, go to my link in the bio and you'll be able to see all the details. But it's a really, really awesome class. We have a lot of great feedback. It is just for women. Guys, this is not for you. I teach a self-defense thing on the Men's Warrior Retreat. But I'd love everyone to feel incredibly safe and confident where they live and within themselves. So they can serve the world with their mission. So have an amazing rest of your day and i look forward to hearing about how these things are impacting your life give me any comments or feedback below and share if it share with your friends if you find value in today's content